Hey guys, welcome back to Living in the Mom Lane or welcome if you're new here, my name is Mandy. Can you believe that Christmas is right around the corner? I don't know where 2019 went. I swear, the older I get, the faster time flies by. I don't know if it's because I'm working and I have kids and we're busy doing all the activities and things, but time needs to slow down, seriously. <laughs> Anyways, from December 1st to December 12th, I am gonna be bringing you 12 days of Christmas cookies. That's right, 12 days of Christmas cookies. Some of those cookies will be keto friendly, some will be full of sugar and carbs and deliciousness. Some of the cookies will be quick and easy. Some of them will require a little extra time. These videos are also in collaboration with Melissa from Melissa's Kitchen Table. So not only are you getting my 12 days of Christmas cookies, you're also gonna be getting her 12 days of Christmas cookies as well. You're gonna get 24 Christmas cookie recipes. That is crazy. I don't know what types of cookies she's making, so we may have some duplicates. However, you know how recipes are. You could have a thousand recipes for one type of cookie. So definitely make sure you check her channel out. I will have her link down in the description. If you are new coming over from Melissa's channel, hello and welcome. If you like grocery hauls, cooking videos, what's for dinners, you're in the right place. I hope you enjoy everything you see and you decide to click on that red subscribe button and tap on the bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. So get your cookie sheets ready, get your rolling pins out, get your cookie cutters ready, and let's get to baking. Hey guys, to kick off our 12 days of Christmas cookies, our first cookie is going to be Reese's Peanut Butter Cookies. You're going to need some miniature cupcake liners. And normally I use the Christmas decorative kind, but I don't have any right now. And I wasn't gonna buy any just yet because I'm gonna be making these again when it's a little bit closer to Christmas because this is what Santa likes in our house. He really loves these cookies. So you're gonna need a bag of Reese cups, miniature Reese cups that is, a bag of peanut butter cookie mix, and I prefer the Betty Crocker brand. You'll also need the ingredients that is on the back of the cookie mix bag, which is three tablespoons of oil, one egg, and one tablespoon of water. I'm going to be using my Pampered Chef mixing bowl and I'm not sure where this muffin pan came from but you do need a miniature size muffin pan. So to start out you're going to need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees if you're using a non-stick or a dark colored pan. You're going to follow the directions on the cookie mix bag or box whatever you're using. Basically with this one, it is super, super simple. You just mix everything in the bowl, mix it all up until everything is well combined. Now you're going to line that muffin pan with those miniature cupcake liners. This is a step that I always had my kids do, but both of my girls are in school right now, so I had to do it all on my own. Next, you're gonna take just about this size of cookie dough, and you're gonna roll it into the palm of your hands, making a little ball, and place each ball into the cupcake liners. Thank you. 
The next step is something else that I always had the girls do and they absolutely loved it. I would have them unwrap all of the Reese cups, but like I said, they're not here. So what you're gonna do is place that Reese cup on top of that ball, use your first two fingers and very gently push that down into the cookie dough and there you have it. This is something else that you could let your children do with you. They really enjoy doing this as well. Sometimes we would have bites taken out of our Reese cups before we would put them into the peanut butter cookie. <laughs> Now it's time to pop these cuties into the oven. And for these, it took about eight to nine minutes, but I just suggest you keep an eye on them and wait until they're nice and golden brown on top. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out Melissa's video and see what kind of cookies she is making. And like I said before, these are Santa's favorites, at least in our house they are. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tap on the bell so that you don't miss more cookie recipes and other videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.